What's up, my Dvd Big Gang? It's your girl Bree, and I'm back again with another video. Welcome, you guys, back to my channel. I'm super hyped to be back here on YouTube. I know I'll be going missing for two to three weeks, but there's a good reason why, like I always say. But before I get into my video, as you can see in the title below, it's a story time. I haven't done a story time in a long time, and this is a really good one. So, but before I get into that, I just want to take the time out to shout out two amazing um artists. One by the name of Queen Nyjah. And the other one by Shinsia. Y'all, these past two weeks, like, I felt, I don't even know how to feel. But I don't know if you guys follow me on my Instagram, but my Instagram is in my description box down below at underscore Brianna Simple. And if you have me on Instagram, you see that in the morning, I do, like, motivational, like, videos for me. It's really not for anybody else. And I, like, lip-sync um, songs from Queen Nyjah or I lip-sync songs from Shensia because those are my two favorite artists, like, of all time right now in my life, right? And I always do that every morning. The week before last, Shensia reposted me. And then, like, last week, Queen reposted me. And y'all don't understand, because those are, like, my favorite artists, like, that really meant, like, the world to me. Like, I was talking to one of my girlfriends, and they were like, um, you know that Shensia or Queen or whatever have over millions of, like, like, followers and subscribers. And just because, like, you tag them in something and it goes straight to their DM, that doesn't mean that they see it. And I know most of the time, because I'm like, I ain't nobody y'all yet. Okay? I am, but I'm not nobody yet, but because I ain't nobody right now, um my dms wouldn't go to them directly it would go in where like the request area you know what i mean so that means that they was bored and was like you know what let me take the time out go into my request and look and then find me and then repost me y'all don't understand how much that means to me because not only has that boost my ego and made me feel good about myself as an individual it really also helped my brand and my you know my team like my subscribers has gone up my views have gone up um people are taking a liking to my content more so shout out to queen and shensia like i love you guys so much and thank you so much for reposting me like that boost for those past two weeks has really grown my youtube channel and i think that's such a dope thing that you know that that's helping me grow and you know and then i can have a platform to help someone else grow you know what i mean so i'm just super excited about that y'all i'm still on a high from that but with further ado let's get into this video <music> y'all so <laughs> this is a story time right when i thought i was grown grown honey okay grown grown and i say that only because first of all this happened last year i like like i always tell y'all when i do my story times i do them far apart and not in between um just for you know respect of other people who i might talk about in my videos or not but whatever so this was last year during my best friend's birthday right and y'all know i got three best friends i still haven't done a video with luke or alex but my best friend bianca i post her all the time on my social media platforms and i actually vlogged her birthday last year right y'all when i tell y'all this is the first time in my life that i have ever been like jump drunk drunk and so much stuff has happened to me that night so i have to tell y'all so we about to get into this tea so boom right let me tell you so boom i'm from new york <laughs> so boom i go to bianca's okay my best friend bianca she lives in connecticut right and due to covid last year clearly there wasn't a lot of things that we could could and could not do um she lives in Connecticut. I live in New York. So I think the CDC guidelines in Connecticut are diff they differ from the ones in New York. So a lot of things were open in Connecticut during the summer. My best friend's birthday is in June. So we I was in Connecticut in June. So New York wasn't really open, but Connecticut was fully open. I mean, well, not the, the state, not the city that my best friend lives in, but I think Bridgeport and like Greenwich, like those the earlier parts of Connecticut were open right so now i go to my best friend's house for the weekend her birthday was like the friday but i was there from like the thursday to the sunday because like i said because covid was like big back then it is still now shout out to people who are still dealing with covid or or who are not vaccinated i, I definitely need to get vaccinated because that is something that's super important but whatever i always go on a, a tangent 
we get to Connecticut, right? And Bianca decides to have um, four different events for her birthday because she wants to hang out with four groups of people, meaning that like her college friends. And one day she want to hang out with just with me. And then one day she want to hang out with her coworkers. And then one day she want to hang out with her cousins because we all couldn't be at one event at the same time. She had to have multiple events, right? So being that her best friend, I went to all four of these events. But I'm going to talk about the night that we went out when it was just me and her, like our best friend time. So, well, first of all, y'all like my braids. I know this is mad random and off cuff, but don't tell me these are not spicy. Navy blue braids with curly ends, period. Per. I just had to throw that in there. Whatever. So this is the night that me and her go out, right? And I decided to wear this body. First of all, y'all know I'm plus size friendly, big girls to the world, period. But... When we go out, we got to, you know, be proper because, you know, we want to be snatched. It's summertime. I have on this Bodycon sundress, but it was a, it was like a t-shirt sundress. So it was like a white, um, leotard. The uh, reason why I'm telling y'all this is because something happened. That's why I'm letting you know exactly what I had on. I had on two Spanx. I had on a thin, um, seamless Spanx. Then I had on like my Kim Kardashian Spanx because this was a Bodycon summer like maxi dress and i needed my waist to look non-existent okay so like i had on two spanks then i had on a um overall like it was a short sleeve like um what are they called like overalls not overalls what are they called body suit but it clipped at the bottom right and then i had on the black like dress it was it looks like a t-shirt under the dress but it was two separate pieces right we go to, we, Bianca gets ready, boom. We go to this place called Possessions. First of all, <laughs> honey, I'm hot. <laughs> First of all, Possessions, or Possessed, or whatever. It was like something random. From my new, from the, the, the word of the place, I knew it was about to be ghetto. Because I'm like, Bianca, what in the hell? Possessions, Possessed, whatever. We get to the spot, right? And it's actually a lit spot. Like, they have hookah. They have drinks. They have food. They have, like, actually had, like, a flower wall to take pictures. They had swings. The DJ was hot. Like, it was a really hot and dope place. But I just knew we were going to get into mad drama, like, when we got there, right? So we get there. And at first, it was so hard to even, like, get a table because there were so many people. And they were trying to, like, limit it on spacing and tables. But clearly, people didn't care because as the time went by, the place got more and more and more and more packed. And let me just say this. Them Connecticut men, honey, they were fine, okay? I <laughs> I don't know put that out there. They were fine. They were fine. Okay. I mean, it was like a chocolate bar. And like, like not a candy store. Because, you know, you would think you have different types of candies. No, it was just one type of man. They were all black and different shades of black. Let me tell you, black lives matter and all their lives matter. Because that was a blessing to see all that chocolate in one area. Like, honey. Ooh. <laughs> So, anyways, we finally get a table now. We get our hookah, and we're there setting up the hookah and thinking about what we want to drink. Now, now I'm a Casamigos type of chick. But back then, I was a Patron mommy. So, Bianca's like, oh, what do you want to drink? And I'm like, uh, Patron. So, we ordered this. Being that it was her birthday, I was like, you know, let's get, like, an actual bottle. Mind you, it's just me and Bianca. I'm like, let's get a bottle. <laughs> let's get a bottle. It's your birthday. You know what I'm saying? We got this big old nice big bottle of Patron and like cans of like pineapple juice, right? So the party's going on. Me and Bianca, mm, mm, get money. Mm, mm, get money. Mm, mm, get money, right? <laughs> We're there dancing, smoking hookah, and having our drinks. To the where the drinks is now feeling real nice. You know what I mean? But. We no longer are drinking it with um, pineapple juice. No, no. We are now putting ice. I don't, guys, I don't know why. I don't know why we were doing this. I don't know why. We were taking like ice cubes and just chugging the Patron to our head. What? <laughs> what are we doing? I don't know why we did that. But listen, okay, I was late. So I was like, you know what? It's Bianca's birthday. And one thing I do know um because i did battle with um covid that march and i really it was a really tough and hard process for me to go through it i'm actually grateful and glad to god that i'm alive and i really didn't think i was gonna make it y'all that's how bad my experience was 
and um I should do a video on that but you know I didn't think I was gonna see Bianca for her birthday that year and I got high COVID that March and her birthday was in June. So to me, to physically be out outside healthy and with my best friend, who's been my best friend since I was like a little girl to now, like that just meant so much to me. So that's why I wanted to have that much fun. But this is the first time I've ever even taken so much alcohol. Like I've never drank that like much before in my life. Like this is the first time ever. So I'm like, okay. So we're there now drinking and drinking and drinking. Now we're lit, right? To the point where we have like this type of confidence. First of all, I don't care what nobody say. Liquid courage is 100% true. Because when you drink liquor or you, you know, indulging in substances, you get this confidence or you get this type of ego. Shade, I was walking up to dudes. Stop. Me, a homie. Okay? Me who's shy. Me, like I say, y'all, this. This okur type of beatness is a self defense uh, self defense <laughs> self defense mechanism, y'all. Like I'm super shy in real life, so who is me to go up to these men? I, and I mean, I was walking up to the finest men, men that I think I didn't have a shot with, men that I didn't think that like will like me because I'm plus size or whatever. I was walking boldly up to them, like you want to dance, throwing it back and all. So I was lit, y'all. Cut to now, we now are there. And now more people are like coming into the party, right? More people are coming into the party. And like, there's like guys, that, like guys that are like coming up to the table. Bianca, my best friend, y'all, I know I'm beat. But she's like beat, beat. You know what I'm saying? Like her body is crazy. So these dudes are coming up. So like, yo, what y'all drinking? You know, whatever. Low key, I'm lit, but I'm still low key conscious. You know what I mean? So this is a disclaimer before I even continue anything else that I'm about to say. I am not promoting drinking. I am not promoting drinking and driving. I'm not promoting anything that you don't need to do if you're over the age of 18. Just be responsible. This is just an experience that had happened to me. Do not follow by my example. So we are there dancing with me being confident and dancing with I don't know how many dudes that night. And this guy, this two like two incidents where men came to the table and was like, oh, what y'all drinking on? And me and Bianca's like, I'm punching around. I'm like, and me in the background, like, it's her birthday. It's her birthday. And they're like, okay. So, so one time a guy actually sent a bottle to our table. I didn't even know who the man was. They were like, oh, this bottle came from that dude over there in the corner. And I think, I think that bottle was Hennessy. No, I think it was Patron. I think we got mad bottles of Patron that night because anytime someone came up to the table, they were like, what are y'all drinking? We were like, Patron. Two people offered to buy us bottles of Patron. We turned out one dude actually sent a bottle to our table with Patron. And then this other dude was walking around with a gallon of Henny. Y'all, when I tell y'all, do not mix dark and light liquor. I think this is where I went wrong. This dude, and he was fine too, but I think he had a girlfriend. So like, he was like, low key like trying to run. and it was so packed so it's like you know when you get up when you're at a party with your spouse and you guys kind of like separate for a little bit i think he kept separating with her on purpose to come talk to me but i mean it's not my fault that you know i was looking like that or whatever so he came over there he was like yo what are you drinking i'm like patron like patron and lemonade or patron and pineapple juice he was like i got some henny like and my best my best friend bianca is like oh my god it's my birthday he's like yeah come on let's take some shots we took two henny shots with this fool why would we do that like why uh why y'all why to the point right now we taking henny shots right now i have patron in my system i have hookah in my system i think i had a shot of tequila because another guy came over with different brands of like alcohol and now we had like two shots of henny with this fool so when i tell y'all i was busted okay i was busted out of my mind I don't know how me and Bianca even managed to get home. I don't know. Because Bianca, it was only me and Bianca. But by the grace of God, we got home. But the problem was, <laughs> when we got to the house, y'all, chaos. I don't know what got into me, but I started calling everybody on my phone. I think Bianca started throwing up and stuff. I mean, throw it up. Because like I said, we were like mixing liquor. And I guess I started to panic because I was drunk. I was like, oh my God. I was talking to this dude at the time. I called him. I called his friend. I called her brother. I called one of the dudes that Bianca was talking to. I was just calling so many people. I called my best friend. Let's just like, where are you? Like, I was wilding, y'all. Then now Bianca's throwing up, right? So I decide now to get out of the car. But we made it to her house safe. Now we're in her driveway. 
I'm like, okay, let me get upstairs and go get her a napkin. Guys, could I find the door? No, I could not find the door. Can I find the steps? I fell probably like four or five times, messed up my knees, broke all of my nails, right? But that's not even it. That's not even it because I'm dumb. We get, I get upstairs. Instead of getting a napkin, what do I grab? Aiden's rag. Aiden's my godson that I always talk about. That's my best friend's son. I grabbed his bath rag, his bath rag from the bathroom and I gave it to Bianca because she was throwing up. So low key, my best friend had Aiden's balls and booty nuts in her face. What? <laughs> what? All right, now, so with all of that, <laughs> I now get Bianca out of the car. I get her upstairs. I take off her clothes because, like, she threw up on everything. Then I put her in, like, this stupid Santa Claus t-shirt and lay her down on the bed, right? So now I'm trying to collect, like, I'm, I'm conscious, but I'm not. I'm like, Brianna get it together like falling over right trying to but thank you i thank the lord we were at her house safe like we were outside bro like something could have really happened to us like we need to stop and that's the first the last time i would ever do that when i tell y'all i forgot right i got bianca situated she's fine passed out on the bed right i'm there now contemplating like i have to use the bathroom y'all i'm there like fighting because i'm drunk I forgot that I put on two Spanx and this clip overall. What I told you, when I tell you, it took me forever and a day to figure out that it was snap, the snap one. Finally got that off. And because my Spanx was so tight, because it's the middle of June, y'all know, ladies, like when y'all done after y'all long day, your Spanx kind of get tight or it sticks to you. So it was hard to come off. And I had two of them at that. I'm standing at the toilet like, yo, I cannot get this off, y'all. I just stood above the toilet like a man and pissed through both of my... <laughs> I pissed through both of my spanks. I sure did, yeah. <laughs> what an embarrassment. Like, why? Like, I cannot. I dead use the bathroom on myself. I took a pee standing like a man. I stand over that thing and literally pissed through my, my spanks. Y'all, never again. I thought I was grown. I need to have a seat. All the seats in Yankee Stadium because... Why? 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 Like, why did I think I was so grown? I am so annoying. Low key, like, that was the drunk. That's, I really thought I was grown, so that's why I was out drinking and having a good time. But that was the drunkest I have ever, y'all, been in my life. Like, to where, like, I was, I had so much confidence dancing with people, accepting drinks from people that I didn't even know, and basically using the bathroom with myself. Like, what kind of, like, ridiculous nonsense? Like, I cannot, y'all, I cannot. I know my story was all over the place, but that was definitely an example of a story time where I thought I was grown and was doing things that I should have never been doing. Do not lead by my example, y'all. Do not lead by my example. But thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. Like like all my other videos, they always all over the place. But thank you for coming by and um listening to me rant about a story time. Like I love doing story times and I thought, you know, it'd be cool to like jumpstart back up my channel with another story time. And shout out to all my new subscribers. Oh my god, the Diva Leva gang is growing. Shout out to all of you. I think we're at 300 now. I'm so excited. I'm so grateful and humble that you guys decide to come to my channel and support me. I love you guys so 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 much. And if you haven't already, definitely click the link down below and subscribe to my Diva Leva gang so you could be a part of the family shout out to everyone who was consistent on my channel i love you guys so much there's so much to come in store i have so much good news i have so much other content that i'm in the process of filming but because it's a process it's taking me forever but i would definitely get that out to you guys when i am when i do have the time to do so and yeah thank you guys so much i love you guys so so much and i'll see you next week in my next video peace